This evening, we're hearing from a Houston native who could become the first woman to set foot on the moon or even Mars. Yes, yeah, she's part of the latest group of NASA astronaut candidates introduced today at Johnson Space Center. Jason Miles is live from Johnson Space Center with a one on one interview. Jason. Hey there, guys. Yeah, it's a long way from from West Houston to the Red Planet, but it's a journey this astronaut is more than willing to take if it becomes a possibility. Let's give them a round of applause. Among fewer than 400 individuals ever chosen to explore space on America's behalf, 10 more NASA astronaut candidates were introduced today. One of these 10 could actually be one of the first Americans uh, to put uh, their boots on the Mars surface, which is very, very cool. Among two native Texans in the so-called Astronaut Group 24 is Anna Menon. I am so thrilled to be back here with the NASA family. A former SpaceX engineer, mission director, and NASA biomedical flight controller. You happen to be a Houston native. I am. Tell me about your early life and where you went to school. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and went to school at a number of Houston independent school district schools. First, Barbara Bush Elementary, then Shadowbriar and Paul Revere Middle Schools, and then finally Westside High School. And you went on to TCU. I did go on to TCU. Menon and the others, selected from a pool of about 8,000 applicants, now begin nearly two years of rigorous training before graduating as flight-eligible astronauts. You'll feel what it's like to live and work in space. Prepared for potential missions to the ISS, the moon, and eventually Mars as part of the ongoing Artemis program. What is your family? Think about this. My family is very, very excited. My family has known that I have loved space for for many years, and so they are they are behind me, and and I'm really grateful to be on this journey hand in hand with them. Menon, a mother of two, is one of six women in the latest ten-person astronaut candidate group, and hopes to inspire younger generations who may also have sky-high aspirations. And over the next couple of days, uh, NASA will be talking more about the Artemis mission, specifically Artemis II, and no doubt some of the delays that have been part of that in recent months. Reporting live from Johnson Space Center, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. We are wishing Menon all the best and much continued success. Jason Miles, thank you for her story.